Alrighty, folks. <laughs> Here I am. RuneScape. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is not a video about Entropia Universe. This is a video about the RuneScape uh, universe. Uh, I've been playing this game for a very long time. I was in graduate school when I started playing. 2004. Uh, I think I created my character here, Mickey Hennessy, in uh, I, I, 2005, uh, I'm pretty certain when I moved to Boston. In fact, I, I, like November of 2005, I think I first uh, I created this guy. So I've been playing for a little while, 11 years or so. And Mickey, I, I, don't, I don't get to play him as much as I would like to. I certainly have a great clan the mutinous lot as we are called here I've gone through many iterations to get to that point uh, but that was a long very long time ago wow like 2007 and 2008 I think that's pretty certain that's when we solidified and you know built the citadel and all that business anyway been playing for a long time I do have a Sturge character in this game also another one called Keldegram, uh, who I used, uh, they were tunes I used to prove that you could make a million coins in 30 days by picking stuff off, of, off, off the ground in this game. And I just did it repeatedly because people didn't believe me. I should have just made videos back in those days about it because it's so straightforward and so easy to do. So much has changed. So much has changed. Just in the last few months, things have changed in this game. While I've been playing Entropia pretty he uh, heavily, I haven't been playing this game very heavily. Um, well, fine. One of my favorite changes, though, and this is not, oh, maybe so recent, 2016, is I can have every clue scroll now. And that's what I'm going to do videos on. <laughs> I can have one of each. I can have an easy one, I can have a medium one. I can have a hard one, and I got an elite one. And I can do them all pretty quick. I can probably do this easy one in under five minutes. I can probably do this medium one in under 15 minutes. Probably under 10. Probably do this hard clue scroll in under 20. And I can probably do this elite clue scroll in under 25 minutes. Uh, so... Think about the rewards here, uh, for those of you who've played for a long time. Getting easy clue scrolls is super easy. You go pick ham uh, people, you know, humans against monsters. You just go pick them, pick their pockets. And I have 99 thieving, so it really just narrows that down. Uh, so it takes me just seconds to do that. I'm in uh, Privdenis, uh, the elven city, crystal city right now. Uh, not doing much here, hanging out with Saren. And, uh, I'm gonna do this, idiots. This will be fun. For, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how quick and easy we can do a, uh, an easy clue scroll, a medium clue scroll, a hard one, and an elite clue scroll. Ooh, I sold stuff. Yay. I have so much of the Grand Exchange. I just bought membership for 2017. Coming up. Cost me 300 million coins. So this is about all I have left. 4.5 million. <laughs> so be it. Uh, that's what I really like about this game, too, is that you can uh, use in-game wealth to buy your membership for a year and uh, and keep playing. So, I'm going to pause for just a second. We're going to come right back. I'm going to show you how I gear up for an easy clue scroll. And then I'm going to make a video and we'll, we may time it probably won't but you can time me if you want but I t I'll bet it takes under five minutes okay okay I'm ready here we go uh, easy clue scroll here's how I do it I always get a bunch of uh, law runes air earth water fire and my handy down explorer ring number four clue scroll shovel and I already have the ingredients for the first step yeah, I already read it. It's okay, I had to make the mace. As you can see, you make a mace. I had to make that. Uh, usually I have all the ingredients. For some strange reason I didn't have the mace. Or I just 
didn't search through my bank, which I'm not going to show you because it's a mess. Uh, it's really a decade's worth of a mess. There we go. Uh, this should be fun. Uh, I, I, I don't anticipate the rewards being anything good, but maybe we'll get like a, I don't know, something fun. Uh, Triskelion Key. Uh, we don't usually get that. Yeah, I don't think you can get those from level 1s. Maybe we'll get one of those cool uh, a cane or something like that. Here's the fastest way. Uh, the clue is wave on Mudskipper Point, equip a gold ring, leather chaps, and a steel mace. Quick, easy. Uh, I got every, pretty much everything unlocked, so no sense in uh, screwing around. Get out of the way, kid. We're just going to go. Uh, we'll do Mudskipper Point. No, of course, it's the fairy ring system. I don't know that I have them all. Uh, ready to go, so we have to go. <laughs> this is what takes the longest, is going through all the. Probably passed it already, didn't I? It's like. Usually I can rem I remember, I remember all of these. And I should have just known it was AIQ. Uh, off the top of my head. Okay. Then the hard part remembering all of the commands. Oh, oh. This is what I get for not playing for a while. Forgetting. What's up, Yuri? Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. Scroll box. Next. Ivy's house in Taverly. We're on our way to ta the Tavs. I don't remember where Ivy's house is. These things have moved around. There was a... Actually, the latest update was... Oh gosh, so many, so many things moved around. Graveyards and... Let's read the clue again here. Ivy's house in Taverly. See, maybe this is going to take more than five minutes. We're already like a minute in. Anyway. Good, should be fun. Uh, I don't remember where Ivy's house is. To be honest with you, I'm guessing. Uh, San Serum. There it is. Hello. No, no. That's what it is. Okay, next up. Crate and Varric Palace. Let's just tell the two Varric Palace. It's much easier because I'm. Oh, uh, I got Grand Exchange. I know the one. It's in the kitchen. It's the best part about doing level one clue scrolls. After you do about ten of them, the the clues sort of repeat. Uh, sometimes the things you have to wear don't. Uh, you know, you'll have to go through twenty of them. But so fine. You know, when you're when you're new, it, these are fun. They they lead you around find all the stuff and uh, you have a good time let's see what do we have search the drawers and uh, see this is the other thing yeah uh, you do this a lot uh, in, uh, in level one clue scrolls you just repeat I'm having myself some uh, soda water here try to uh, keep hydrated some bubbly water had a nice chow mein from you at Lee here. The fine Chinatown. One of the best uh, best Chinese places I've uh, ever eaten. So good. So good. Okay, Ivy's house, we're going back. Because we were only there just a few seconds ago. Let's see what Ivy has. Be clue number three. And this one says, dig near some giant mushrooms behind the Grand Tree. Okay. Fastest way to the Grand Tree. This is always the tricky one. Ah, got it. We'll do that. Actually, I haven't done a close score in a while. I know, uh, so, if you have, this is part of the trick also, if you have all of the teleports and all of the most of the quests done. I have 273 quest points or something to that effect. Um, Grand Tree. 
uh, you can just pretty much teleport anywhere you want to go in just seconds. And uh, I have a new computer, so graphics load pretty quick, which is nice. Uh, I'm guessing this could be... Well, uh, you're up to seven clues for level one. This could be it. This could be the end of it. Here are the mushrooms. Like I said, having done many of these, you'll figure it out quickly. And the end is... Zamorak arrows and 150 water runs. Four grand. I'm re-rolling this. Obviously, I've done many. 63. Uh, yeah, come on. Let's just do it. Bam! 6,000 coins. Yeah, but I can I can craft that. And those miscellaneous teleports are great for when I'm doing kingdom. There you go. I don't know if that was under five minutes. We'll check here in a few seconds. We're at 10 minutes, 53 seconds. So, I'm guessing it was. Ciao. We'll be back soon.